All right, well, we spend about a third of our life sleeping, and last Friday we asked our Facebook friends to sound off on how much sleep you get each night. The majority of you just, you know, gave a thumbs up. You're doing great, but there were definitely more than a handful who admitted that they have trouble sleeping through the night. I know so many people who admit to that. As part of our continuing series, Sleep Well, Live Well, Breathe Well with Advent. Dr. Mothin Kandula is here to share why not just the amount but the quality of your sleep matters and what you can do about it. Good to see you, Dr. Mothin. Good to be here, thank you. Absolutely, let's talk about this a little bit. So I'm sure a lot of uh, viewers are wondering after that, right? They're like, okay, how much do we really need? Because I feel like you hear all these different numbers all the time. Yeah, and I mean, the, the honest answer, it does vary <laughs> from individual to individual. In the typical adult, seven to eight hours is is kind of, um, you know, ballparky what you want. Um, when you're when we're younger, it's, you know, certainly kids need more than that. And as we get older, it does tend to get harder and harder to get um, sort of that, uh, that quality of sleep. Uh, amen to that, right? So <laughs> I know that you're an expert in sleep issues, and, and that's why people come to you for all, all their needs when it comes to sleep. But um, what happens if you're not getting enough sleep? I mean, I think about just the, the physical look of being tired, but what else? Yeah, I mean, it, it really, sleep is, it's not a nice to have, it's a must, must have. And if you aren't getting proper sleep, if you aren't getting, you know, the quality of sleep that your body needs, then it will take a physical toll on you, a mental toll, an emotional toll. It will really, you know, sort of have ramifications throughout your life. And so it is, um, I think nowadays people are starting to recognize the importance of sleep. Um, I think even five, 10 years ago, it was very much dismissed and sort of, oh, that's, it'd be nice to, to sleep, but I don't have time for that. I think now that we're starting to understand the profound impact of sleep. Um, I think we're being much more clear uh, in our messaging to folks who are having issues with this is that it isn't something that you can put off. It is something that you need to take seriously. Every night uh, adds up and night after night, week after week, month after month, it does take its toll. Absolutely. I mean, I, I've seen the effects in my own family um, when people are not sleeping enough and what it can do to their mental health and, and more. So I, I want to know a little bit about this um, in terms of quality as well, because we could be in bed for a certain amount of time, but not be getting the right sleep or the right quality of sleep. And is it true, Advent, now you have a way to actually help us know what kind of quality of sleep we're getting? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there, we, we offer uh, home sleep studies. There's a variety that we do offer. Uh, one in particular is really groundbreaking uh, and uh, it's shown here, which is really as simple as you possibly get, something that literally just sort of sits on your fingertip. Uh, it, you hook it up to your iPhone or, or your Android phone and it allows us to determine exactly what's happening when you're sleeping at night. Uh, are you stopping breathing? Uh, how is your oxygen levels uh, going? Uh, how, much, how much sleep are you getting? What is the quality of that sleep? So all of those things uh, we get that information um, in real time, and it's it's such a convenient, easy thing to do that you know our, our, our patients are surprised that this this exists in this day and age, and uh, that it gives the the information that we need to have and we need to know in order to help folks out. So it's it's been a remarkable change. Sleep uh, home sleep study testing technology has come uh, dramatically uh, further and further uh, year by year, and I never imagined that something as simple would be available, and yet here we are in 2021 and it's, it's here and it's available. That's incredible, doctor. Like seriously, like I wanna do that. I think that is the easiest thing ever. There's no, you mm. know, all the hookups people used to think about, or, mm. you know, I've even heard my mom say, well, I just won't sleep if I do one of those. There, there's right. no, you're gonna sleep just fine with something on your finger. Yeah. And you're I getting mean, those is, quality oh. information from that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's re there really is no excuse. I mean, certainly uh, many years ago when you had to have all those monitors set up, I'd say, yeah, that that uh, maybe you got an excuse there. With this, uh, literally, there there's there's no reason not to find out what's going on. Uh, there's no reason not to get to the bottom of it and no reason not to try to figure out what you might do to, to make things better. That's incredible. I'm so excited about that. You don't even like I want to do it for real. I think it's so amazing. Sure. I want my mom to do it. I want everybody I love to do it. But here's the thing. Yeah. A lot of people will just assume that snoring is what is what is the problem. Do, is snoring always an issue? And can you not snore and it also be an issue? Yeah, I mean, certainly there are people who have sleep issues who don't snore, uh, but if you do snore, it is impacting your sleep, period. You know, end of sentence, I think some people are like, well, I snore, but I don't think I'm pausing. Uh, the reality is you don't know, and the reality is the snoring is the sound of your airway really crying out for help. Every time somebody's snoring at night, it's the sound of the airways collapsing down, it's shutting down, they're trying to breathe, the body is, is fighting against that. And, you know, while we oftentimes make light of that, there is nothing funny about, um, you know, sort of the ramifications 
implications of that. And so at the end of the day, I think, yeah, there are people who snore without stopping breathing and uh, that impacts their sleep. It isn't necessarily as sort of uh, much of an emergency as sleep apnea is, but their only way to know about what, what do you have going on is to do a sleep study. And again, that's an easy enough thing to do. There are solutions for folks who snore. There are solutions for folks who have sleep apnea. There's really no excuse not to try to find out, well, what's going on? What can we do? What's the extent of the problem? And how do we get you on to sleep in the way you're supposed to be sleeping? I mean, anyone who is not impacted by you saying snoring is the sound of your airway, you reaching out for help. I mean, <laughs> that is that's a serious you know statement. And like you said, it, it's kind of laughable because it's kind of funny, but it's not because it can be so mm -hmm. serious. And I think anybody who wakes up tired, anybody who snores, anybody who just wants to have answers, should contact you. And I know you've got this great opportunity now for opening um, same week appointments. So I'm gonna give all that information, but Dr. Mothin, thank you so much for joining us today. It was good yeah, to see you. Thanks for having me. Good to see you, thank you. Absolutely. There's a special for Morning Blind viewers. As I mentioned, Advent has opened up these same week appointments. All you gotta do is mention the Morning Blend when you call in or just chat with them on their website. You can do that easily too. That's adventknows.com. Their number, if you prefer to call, is 414-771-6780. Most insurances are accepted and no referral is required. There are five Southeastern Wisconsin locations, Wauwatosa, Mequon, Oconomowoc, Oak Creek, and Pleasant Prairie. And then they also have offices in Appleton and the Chicagoland area. No excuses. We took them off the table for you.